Tomorrow, when everyone gets to the church, there is a program, and there was a prayer that Anna and I chose to put in the back of the program from Father Raymond Fitzgerald. He was my 8th grade Latin teacher, my 10th grade Greek teacher, and he didn't teach me a lot of Latin. <laughs> that wasn't his fault. <laughs> he died in 2016, and he taught us a lot about living and a lot about faith. And when he announced that he had ALS to the student body at Jesuit, he closed his comments with a prayer that we put in the back of our program. Let us ask for the grace to do our duty before God, because this is our duty for today. The future remains in the hands of God, with whom the best is always yet to come. And that's the way I feel today. Anna, I'm going to keep those words in my heart every day of our marriage. And so, if you can raise your glass, let's remember our duty before God each day. And then let us remember that the future remains in the hand of God, with whom the best is always yet to come. Amen. Amen. This afternoon, Michael and Anna Marie have come to God's temple, this beautiful church, to join themselves to each other and together to join and present themselves, offer themselves to God. I, Michael, take you, Anna Marie, for my lawful wife. I, Anna Marie, take you, Michael, for my lawful husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health to love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. So if you would please raise your glass with me and join me in toasting them. 
to a lifetime of happiness and many beautiful, beautiful children. Here, here. So, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Michael, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the eternal Father keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling. It is now a great joy that I present to you, Mr. and Mrs.